a great day for coffee. It is an extraordinarily exciting day. You ready, Joey? Yeah. You ready, Abby? Yeah. Let's go. We are in downtown Catanning today. We are doing another visit at East BRA Coffee. Uh, very, very exciting. They are getting real close to an opening date. And uh, today, today, we get to take the first taste. It's Saturday morning, but man, it is busy in downtown Catanning. We got like cars lined uh, most of the street here. I haven't seen that kind of activity on a Saturday morning down here in a long, long time. Check out all the work going on here. They have these beautiful bars now to drink coffee at. They got all their cups in, got the other bar put in as well. They're finishing painting the front here. You can see, look at this beautiful butcher block bar. And all the equipment's in. These beautiful coffee pots and this beast of a coffee machine. Big old commercial grinder. And this is the real beauty here. Espresso grinder and the authentic Italian espresso machine. You girls ready to try it? Yeah. So I don't know why, but Mike's gonna let me try it. He's gonna let me play with this uh, this Italian espresso machine. Okay, here we go. Mike says it's really really easy. Okay, grab the one up there that doesn't have coffee in it. Right. Double one. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it was different. I'm not qualified to froth the milk, so Mike's gonna, he's helping me out. My coffee art's subpar, but if the insurance thing doesn't work out, you know, I might, I might be down here. Okay, Abby, you're, you're not waiting for me. First taste. How is it? Good. Is it good? <laughs> they put some white chocolate in yours, huh? Joey, you gonna try it? Yummy. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right, this is my truly first taste. These guys snuck a little bit of the foam before. They said the foam with white chocolate tastes like what? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. <laughs> it does. All right, here's my first taste. Like it, Daddy? Oh wow, it's so um, it's so smooth. This is actually the first time I've ever had straight espresso. Um, that's a little bit different experience for me. Uh, but this, uh, as a latte, is um, is really great. Put a little white chocolate in it for a second taste. Man, is that good? These guys are all jacked up now. Letting them drink a full latte was probably not not my brightest of moments. But they drank it so fast, it must have been... Was it really good, girls? Yeah. Yeah? Too good, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Daddy, it's lunchtime. It I is. can tell by the way it smells. Yep. You can tell it's still under construction, but they are in the final stages. They got to put together some tables, uh, get through some food inspections, all that fun stuff. But they are pushing to try to open now within the next few weeks. So hopefully uh, before the end of February, Daddy. it'll be open to the public. Pretty awesome. We are the uh, first public taste testers for East BRI Coffee. So someday when Mike and Amber are very famous and East BRI is this uh, nationwide brand, we'll get to say we were there first. Pretty cool, right, Abby? Yeah. <laughs> That's just the first part of our exciting coffee adventure today. There's another coffee shop having their grand opening as we speak. We're gonna get the rest of the family and head over there right now. You guys might remember a couple months ago visiting the Clay Cup in Altoona. Uh, those of you that have seen that video, if not, I'll uh, post a link here. The uh, coffee at the Clay Cup was some of the best coffee I've ever had, and uh, this at East Biare was uh, every bit as good as that, uh, if not better, and I, I'm just super excited to have world-class coffee uh, right in downtown Catanning. So awesome, and it's probably gonna be my go-to spot for uh, morning meetings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there often. I don't know if you guys noticed the shirt. This is from a long time ago. This is my uh, original 
East BRI coffee shirt, but you know, we're going to the going to the new place. Gotta change teams real quick. All right, team R and P, here we come. Okay. Hey, what is it that you want? I heard those are legendary cookies. You gonna try it? That's what she's pointing at right here. Okay, so we're gonna do the legendary cookie. We're gonna do one of each scone. We're gonna try the Go Red Heart Tea. And we are going to have a chocolate covered strawberry, hot chocolate. Everything is really good, but this uh, this orange cranberry scone is like next level. So good. The sugar cookie lived up to its reputation as well. So I stole away uh, Justin here. Justin is uh, one of the owners, you and your wife, right? Yeah, I mean, we're actually not owners. We actually are uh, part of the board since it's a nonprofit. Maybe so. manager would be manager, a better right? uh, yeah. better title. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's amazing what you guys are doing here and uh, a nonprofit coffee shop. I mean, how did that all how did this all come about? What did you, how did this start? You know, it was it was one of those things that we just we felt led to it and um, a lot of things just kind of lined up and we just kept being kind of pushed towards this this idea of of having a space that uh, everybody could come to and everybody can enjoy the the restoration the placemaking and that's that's the rmp yeah um that's that's really what it's about is just bringing people together we don't care if you buy a drink it helps with operations but really it's about bringing the people right to the space and having uh, a community right here amen yeah so. I, I think it's just amazing and it's uh, it seems like everything you guys do is centered around community yeah Absolutely. Uh, and you have this grand opening today. Drinks are fantastic. The baked goods are top notch. Where are yeah. you getting where are you getting the baked goods? Yeah, so uh, we have there again it's all volunteers, so we have a baker that she's amazing. Um, she she she's been mixing up all the all the stuff and baking all the stuff, so we're we're really excited to have her as part of our uh, volunteer base. Uh, we actually have a kitchen off site, uh, which is actually at uh, the Dayton First Church of God. Nice. And uh, we do all of that's all inspected and all that good stuff that's how we do it but we have uh, a couple other volunteers that are essential to uh the the baking and managing all those baked goods because it it actually exploded way more than we, ex <laughs> we expected on the baked good things yeah uh, into things uh the drinks are going really well but those baked goods uh people are really excited we have those the cookies as big as your face yeah and, uh, they the are sugar cookies, <laughs> the scones and the uh, sugar cookies and we actually have biscotti sometimes and that may become a it's a little bit of a sport that may become a regular thing we may have nice uh, biscottis pretty regularly that are 
made uh, by our baker. So it's, it's really awesome. Uh, really excited about our baked goods. Too. Very cool. So, so as a nonprofit, um, I'm assuming you guys would uh, accept donations. You're looking for volunteers, all that kind of stuff. What's the best way for people to connect with you or donate to you? Yeah, um, we have lots of different ways. Um, mostly it's through our website. We have we have ways that you can volunteer. That's our number one thing. If y'all can volunteer, if you're local, or if you want to drive in and volunteer, that's fine. Even if it's for a couple hours, we could probably figure out a spot that that can help. Yeah. Uh, help us out. Uh, you can contact us on Facebook, Instagram. We do have, as far as donations are concerned, um, we have that on our website as well. If you want to stop by, we, we can accept donations that way too. Absolutely. Um, we also have an Amazon wish list. Yeah. And uh, so, so that's another way you can give back uh, to help us with some of those things that we need to operate. So. That's so cool, man. Well, I'm uh, I'm just incredibly happy for you guys. Uh, it's, it looks like the grand opening so far has been a uh, great success. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome. And so um, I appreciate you uh, letting me uh, take some video of this place. And we're cheering you on from Katanning. Yeah. Any of you out there that are in Armstrong County, I will put uh, the links in the description for all their social media and for their website. And then we will also, um, I would just encourage you, if you're within 50 miles of this place, you got to come try it. Come and yeah. support this great uh, local community effort. And um, we're just, we're cheering you on, Justin. Thank you. I really <laughs> appreciate it. All right. Thanks again. Man, this place is so great. They're busy too. Man, they are making some, a lot of tea in there, a lot of hot chocolate. And the baked goods are going like hotcakes. They're going to keep making them, so you better come out and try them soon. Also, we're going to get Justin and his wife, Bree. Uh, we're going to get them on a podcast in the near future. So I want to talk to them more about the heart of the ministry that's going on here. And uh, I think it's going to be a really great conversation. So be watching for that over the next couple months here. The other great thing is they're right by the school here. And so if you have kids, you got to stop at the playground too. Two great additions for Armstrong County. I hope you guys are half as excited as I am. It's nice to see different places like RMP that are on the same mission as we are. We're gonna to continue to transform our communities and uh, use our lives for God's glory. Did you girls have fun today? Yeah! Malachi, you have fun? And now we're yeah. Go Can you guys tell everyone we'll see them in the next one? We'll see you in the next one. Say bye. Bye.